I'd like to officially welcome everybody to Tira and Liam's wedding ceremony. <laughs> Let me. Participation is welcome. Okay. <laughs> so I have to say, before I start, Jenny, Tira's mom, made this beautiful chuppah. And in the Jewish tradition, we get married under a chuppah. And it's so beautiful that you It looks gorgeous. All right. I'm Kayla. As most of you know, I'm Tira's cousin. Tira and Liam, I have to say it's an honor to be up here with you, being your officiant and supporting you in this ceremony. It feels very special. I'm going to try to get through this without crying today. Okay. Before I talk about Tira and Liam, I have to give a little backstory about my relationship to this lovely bride. Tira and I have always felt like sisters. We are one year, 10 months, and three days apart. I'm older. <laughs> As a kid, Tira was observant, reserved at times. She loved to savor her dessert and eat it as slowly as possible. And if you knew her, you knew that she loved the color orange, true to the color of Liam's hair. <laughs> Tara and I share a bond that feels sacred. I've always felt like your big sister. And in this life, we also get to be friends. And I feel eternally lucky that you have each other. One of life's many important stages is college. Tira lived in Eugene and went to this little school called the University of Oregon. Woo! When she was there, we'd often talk on the phone, maintaining our long-distance relationship. One day she called me because she met this guy. They were at a college party and decided to take a break from the chaos and walk around the block together. There was this energy that looking back now, both of them light up when they describe the deep and instant connection that they had. Tara described him as being very cool. <laughs> Liam fully admits that he was not cool. <laughs> and he was actually quite nervous around her. And he remembers not wanting to mess this up. Okay, going back to this phone call. You guys can hold each other's hands. <laughs> I will never forget the excitement in Tira's voice. Liam had invited Tira over to his house. While on the phone with me, Tira was debating if she was going to go or not. And without knowing Liam, I was very supportive of her going over to hang out with him. Somehow, I convinced Tira that she should bring over an activity so that it wouldn't be so awkward. <laughs> and I told her that she should bring over brownie mix so that they could bake together. Tira took that idea and mustered up the confidence to go over to his house. Even though Tira ended up baking brownies with Liam's roommate, <laughs> they broke the ice enough for them to continue seeing each other and eventually fall in love. Liam does remember eating the brownies, so they did go to good use. <laughs> this phone call, them meeting each other, the brownies, was nearly 10 years ago. Liam, your humor, intellect, down to do anything attitude is so authentic and inspires others to follow you. Your love for Tira is evident in the everyday acts of kindness and support that you provide. When we got together to talk about the ceremony, something that stood out to me was when you said, wherever Tira is, is where I am home. 
both of you describe your love for each other in the slow morning, when you drink coffee, planning your next travel adventure, cooking dinner, and doing life every single day. Liam, you've always felt like family. And I'm sorry, Tira, but Liam, you were my favorite catchphrase partner. <laughs> In honor of my dad, who I know is with us today in spirit, or as Tira knew him as Uncle Larry, he would have loved to know what Liam and Tira described as each other's idiosyncrasies. <laughs> what Larry would define as an idiosyncrasy is something someone does that is unique and sometimes a little odd or particular to any given person. When asked about each other's idiosyncrasies, Tira said about Liam, he asks a lot of questions, and sometimes I don't answer. <laughs> he tells dad jokes, and he can't quite get the kitchen towel back where it belongs. <laughs> when I asked Liam about Tira's idiosyncrasies, he said, if you've ever seen Tira eat, <laughs> that's, that's the whole <laughs> nauseous <laughs> and sometimes she has a challenge getting dishes in the sink. <laughs> they both agreed that their relationship is not cut out for kayaking. <laughs> Lots of other things just not kayaking. <laughs> Being a marriage therapist, I would be remiss if we didn't do a little bit of couple therapy today. Don't worry, I'll do the talk. <laughs> Often at weddings, those around you will share advice and guidance for your future. But I think today is different. It's different. Because you guys are examples of what it means to choose each other. To love unconditionally. The past decade has been a master class in showing up, growing, maturing, goal setting, traveling, career starting, the ups, the downs, and the everything in between. It's not a stretch to say that we can all learn from you about what marriage is, about what being in relationship is. It's today that we get to celebrate you and your union, the love story that we have all been fortunate enough to be witness to. <laughs> Tira and Liam have chosen to share their individual vows. Liam will start with you, so sure. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe the day is finally here where you to marry my best friend. I'm not surprised it's happening. I've known you the person I want to spend the rest of my life with for years. But I feel eternally lucky to have found you. We met each other as we entered our 20s, and throughout this past decade, we've traveled the world, moved to new places, and lived a lot of life together. We've grown up together. Yeah, you're the most amazing person I've ever met. The way you're constantly evolving and pushing yourself to be better is infectious. And I know the first I am today is going to be a large part of your thing. You've always believed in me. It made me feel like there's nothing that we can't accomplish together. Like getting married in a rainstorm. <laughs> <laughs> Every year I somehow fall more in love with you. I promise to always support you in any way that you need to cheer you up after a hard day and make you laugh when you're feeling down. To always do the dishes. To never stop growing with you and constantly adventuring and finding new experiences. To love you fully with everything that I had. I couldn't imagine the last 10 years of my life without you. And I can't wait to see the next decade have you so for us. I love you more than anything. Now and always.
Almost 10 years ago, I remember touching your eye from across the room at a party. When our eyes locked, something in me recognized you. It was almost as though my body took a big exhale and it said, there you are. I knew you and I, I knew you and I were meant to be before I even really knew you at all. To this day, I still think about how remarkable that moment was for me. There are a few moments in life that really take your breath away, and that is one of them. Liam, I feel so incredibly honored to be standing up here today to take you as my partner in life. You bring so much joy, kindness, love, and humor into my life and all the lives that you touch. I have felt honored to watch you grow into the person you are today. From the 19-year-old college student to the 29-year-old man who is living his best life. My love for you has only grown throughout these almost 10 years together. Today, I am so excited as we turn another page and step into our new chapter, one of husband and wife. Today, I choose you as my partner, and I choose you a million times over forever. You're my person. I am elated to continue to experience this life with you. In this union, I vow to show up for you and to support and encourage you. To give my presence and my love without hesitation, I vow to be there through thick and thin as we've always done. Today and every day, I vow to give you the best of me if you deserve it. You're my favorite person to see after a long day of work. My favorite face to wake up to every day. And you are always the first person I want to share anything with. I am so lucky I get to share my life with my best friend. I can't wait for this new journey together of marriage to become parents and buy our first home one day together. To continue to travel the world and to learn more about you as we keep evolving. I love you. I am overcome with joy today as we join your family and intertwine our lives together. I gave you this ring as a reminder that we face this world together. I gave you this ring as a reminder that we face this world together. This ring is a token of my love for you. I am yours in joy and in sorrow and sickness and health. I am yours in joy and in sorrow in sickness and health. I promise my love to you for the rest of our lives. I promise my love to you for the rest of our lives. Liam? <laughs> do you take Tira to be your wife? I do. Uh, you can put the ring on her finger. Okay. Ready? Ready. Tira, with this ring, repeat after me. I, Tira, take you, Liam, to be my husband. I, Tira, take you, Liam, to be my husband. I give you this ring as a reminder that we face this world together. I give you this ring as a reminder that we face this world together. This ring is a token of my love for you. This ring is a token of my love for you. I am yours in joy and in sorrow and sickness and in health. I am yours in joy and in sorrow and sickness and in health. I promise my love to you for the rest of our lives. I promise my love to you for the rest of our lives. Here I do take Liam to be your husband. Too. <laughs> 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 Liam, do you All right. Liam, 
You may kiss your bride and smash the glass. <laughs>